you know there are days where I'm like, John, we really need to have some hot, hot sex because I'm just, you know, have nothing to write about today and I need the, I need the content. You know, it's, it's, um, it is. You never write about that. Oh, no. Um, I write a little bit about it. <laughs> as, as much as he will let me. Um, yeah, he's, he's probably, he doesn't censor me, but um, I, he's the number one person that I'm thinking of family-wise about is this going to be okay and is he going to go to a conference and be shaking someone's hand and they're going to go, I know what you did. <laughs> right. And it's kind of happened before and he's just, hey, we get home and he's like, do you have any idea what this is like for me? And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Sorry. Well, you, you had said some interesting things to me on the phone about your friends and how they oh, yeah? felt about your blog, um, which I, I haven't personally encountered, so I... It was pretty, when um, I think it really started when I was on the cover of the New York Times style section, my and it really picked up. And my friends were like, you know, I love you obviously, but this makes me feel like shit about our friendship. I'm like, well, why? What am I doing wrong? Like, what what's upsetting you? Well, these stories you're ma you've always made yourself so vulnerable to me as your friend. I was the one who got to hear these stories. And now you're telling them to everyone, and it makes me feel like our friendship matters less. Now they finally, you know, and I'm like, well, you know, that is one of the hard things, I guess, about living with a writer or having a writer in your life, that you do have to share them in some way. But they came around, and, and now if I'm telling them a story, they're like, did you have to write this on the block? So they, they've come, you know. They've do they still want to hear it first, then? Probably, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You, you have similar I've had the same experience. I've had um, some friends from high school who refuse to read it because they think that I have abandoned the friendship and now I'm showing myself with the world and they aren't special anymore. Um, I think it's interesting, like my husband, um, you know, he gets to live the experiences with me and then read about them, my interpretation of them, which isn't always exactly how he experienced them. <laughs> um, but was, what was really interesting is, like, uh, back in 2004, when I had really bad postpartum depression, I found that um, I was able to work through what I was feeling better by writing about it than by talking about it. And he would call me, you know, from, from work and say, you know, how are you doing today? And I would, and I would try to tell him how things were going, and then he would, two hours later, read about what I was feeling. And come home and say, I didn't know it was this bad. And he never resented the fact that I didn't tell him first because he knew that I needed that exercise to get it out. But he's a blogger too, right? So do you ever blog the same stories? Um, yeah, not really. No, we kind of call dibs on the story. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Is there, is there anybody, anybody else out here married to a blogger? Not that many. You're probably good to keep, you know, right to keep it to yourself, right? But, you know, on a more serious note about how your friends and family uh, feel in the aftermath of finding your blogging, I mean, you, you had some really interesting things to say about how it changed how you felt about yourself after your family um, found your blog and how it changed the way you blogged. I, it changed the way I live, actually. I mean, it changed my entire outlook on life. Um, you know, I, I said some horrible things about religion, and some horrible things about my family, and then I said some horrible things about the boss that I had who would come to work with the needles where they had, like, you know, injected Botox into her lips, and, which needed to be blocked about. And I had said horrible things, and then, and then got fired, and then lost the trust of my family. And I, that's when I took the website down for several months, because I did not like who I was. And how, I, how close were those two events, the losing the job and the... 2000, it was September and February, oh, so okay. five or six months. Okay. And, I, I mean, it was almost like, you know, you have to beat me over the head for me to get, you know, this is not a good idea. And um, I took, took a break, and I was like, I don't want to put that back into the world, because that was coming right back at me. And it changed the way I approach relationships and friendships, and it definitely changed the way I write about people on my website. So how 